Hey guys, welcome back to Charlie and Mayer Camping Vlog. The things I do for you guys, it's four degrees, it's freezing, and I'm about to go cycling on this thing. With thanks to our friends at Cruise Douglas in Cork, this video is a look at the bike. You might have watched last week's video where we talked about scooters and e-bikes. This is not an electric bike, it's an electric assist bike. You have to pedal this bike. I've never done this before. I've got two cameras on board. We're going to bring this camera with us as well. And I'm at Doro on the Greenway in Waterford. There's a beautiful tunnel through here and a beautiful bridge. And there's a hill and it's it's great application to give this e-bike uh, a good review. So what I'll do is lock up the car, put things away, get cameras set up and we'll head off for a spin on our e-bike. Okay, first off, I've got my helmet on. Let's power up the bike. As I said, this is a power assist bike. It's the PAS, which is a power assist system. You have to pedal this bike. The bike comes with three modes, zero, where this clock is on zero. That's just pedaling the bike, just like a normal bike, as you would do. One is eco, you pedal and it gives you a little bit of help. Two is cruise mode and three is sports mode. So I'm going to start off in eco mode. Um, this bike comes equipped with lights on the front and back. I have my helmet on, which this control unit does the right indicator, left indicator. The helmet is also Bluetooth. We have a review on the helmet up there. This bike also comes with and. So let's set this camera up again. I have never done this before. I hope the camera angles are OK on this. Let's go. So on number one, oh, climbing this hill is an absolute doddle, an absolute breeze. 13 kilometers up the hill and let's stop. There's a walk, I've gone to a right and there are people up here with a dog on our left. So let's see what they can see on this camera. Let's go. We'll turn on the lights because we can. Oh, do you know what? I've just noticed the battery is nearly dead because we were using this quite a lot yesterday. Let's go on to number two mode. 18 kilometers an hour. Now, you don't have to pedal all the time. I've stopped pedaling for a second and the bike just slows down a little bit. But oh my God, you know what? 18 kilometers an hour is too fast I'm doing. 20 kilometers an hour there. I'm going to turn off the power and just pedal this bike to see what it's. Oh my gosh, it's a lovely pedal. Um, the gear ratio, okay, on this hill, I've got to be honest, I'd rather have the power on because there's a bit of a pedal on that hill. But in general, I'm doing 15 kilometers an hour. I've got an error up on the screen because when I turned it back on, because I was walking. So what I'm going to do, because I was moving, I'm going to stop. The error has now cleared. Whoops. Let's go again. I'm just going to drive up as far as the tunnel. Again, I'm on eco mode. Let's go into number two. Eco mode does 15 kilometers an hour. Two does 20. But if you stop pedaling, the bike slows down. Just gonna beep the horn. All the way through the tunnel. Thank you. Lights are on. Indicator lights are on. Let's go to mode three. I'm running out of battery power. Mode three is giving me 25 kilometers an hour. I've stopped pedaling and I'm freewheeling at 21 kilometers an hour in mode three. I love this tunnel in Duro. You're probably not seeing much. Um, you will see that. The light is on the front. Mm. 
there's 27 kilometers an hour but I'll be honest I was pedaling like the clappers there right let's go back into eco mode as we come out of the tunnel I love this tunnel this greenway in Waterford is absolutely fantastic for cycling for walking I'm doing 18 kilometers an hour here freewheeling I'm gonna turn off the lights to preserve my battery power let's go into mode 2 and it just suddenly takes off I'm still pedaling the same 20 kilometers an hour I'm going to take off one of my gloves here so I can touch the screen so you can see what I'm seeing. This is brilliant. I have a second camera here that I have not used in years. Um, I don't know if it's even on, to be honest. I don't think it was. I'm going to pull up here to take some photographs because I promised the guys at Cruise that I would give them some content and there's a beautiful bridge here it's the Waterford Road over there brings you into Dungarvan, Waterford to Dungarvan, the old road I think I'll raise the saddle slightly for my journey back Right, let's pull up here. Nothing behind us. Power off. And stop. This is the view where I've stopped on the bridge in Duro. The tunnel is just down there. This is the Waterford Greenway. Very, very, very popular with cyclists and with walkers. As you can see, I have my safety helmet on. Actually, just my microphone on. Yes, it is. I have the safety helmet on. This is the helmet that has the indicators on it. If I just push the indicators on, you'll see the front right indicator there. And you'll see the left indicator. They're on the back as well. It's got Bluetooth earphones. I can actually hear the indicators bleeping. So I am honest about our campsite reviews and I am going to be honest about the review of this bicycle. And my honest reviews about this bicycle are as follows. It's flipping fast, it really is. You don't have to pedal that fast when you're going that fast. First and only negative about it is the seating position. I'd like the seat to be back a little bit. It's kind of too in line with the pedals. I'd actually like it to be back a little bit more from the pedals. That is the only. Hello. How's it going? That is the only negative that I would say against this bike. I think she is beautiful. She folds away in 15 seconds into the back of the Fiat. She puts together in 10 or 15 seconds. It's a stunning bike. She cruises through there. And again, I'm going to put the camera back on as we make our way back to the car. Climbing out of the car park was so, so easy because I've come on this road on my ordinary bike with Deirdre and with Charlie and climbing out of that car park can be a bit of, of a struggle. So we actually walk out of the car park on this set on number one. It was a doddle. She just went up the hill. No bother. Absolutely no bother. So I'll put this camera away. We'll turn back on these cameras and I'll make my way back to the car and do another quick review from there. And then I just want to show you as we make our way back from the bridge through the tunnel that at mode 2 15 kilometers this is as fast as I have to pedal I'll turn off the camera going through the tunnel and then I'll turn it back on again okay we're near the end of the tunnel as you can see I'm in mode 3 and again, just pedaling slowly. 
you'll see when we get out of the tunnel I'm doing 25 kilometers an hour and I'm pedaling as if I'm just pedaling up a hill nice and slow 25 kilometers an hour you just have to keep the crank turning and let the motor do the rest So my review on this bike, as I said, if the saddle was just a little bit further back, it would be a much more comfortable ride. When you're doing 27 kilometers an hour, 15 kilometers an hour, you just have to keep pedaling to keep the crank turning and that in turn will keep the pedal assist motor driving. You don't have to be pedaling like the clappers. You just have to keep pedaling and the bike will do the rest. Zero for just pedaling, one for eco, two for cruise and three for bloody fast. The light is great. The little horn is great. You've got a bell. I do think the only thing I found was that when you're folding the bike, you push in the pedals and you fold it down. I found that one of the pedals wasn't out properly and it was trying to fold on me. But that was my fault for not clicking the pedal out properly. Once I did that, it was fine and all of the contact details will come up at the end of this video but nothing ever gets 10 out of 10 but this has got an 8.5 and if that saddle was back just slightly but everything else on this bike is beautiful i'm just using my phone cam for this piece just to say that that was fantastic but bring a cloth because it's a wet day here. We got a bit mucky. There was from cows crossing on the greenway. So bring a cloth before you put the bike into the car because it gets a bit mucky. I just happen to have a cloth in the car. So bring a cloth as part of your e-bike experience. Yeah.